hello guys uh, in this video i would like to explain about uh, stationarity of a time series and its importance uh, in a time series analysis uh, this is an important concept in some models uh, <clears throat> including the arima class of models uh, assume uh, the stationarity of a time series so let's move to the lecture that what is mean by stationarity and what are the types of stationarity and why we need stationarity before embarking on the time series modeling or building a time series model okay um uh, before start going to stationarity defining stationarity and the importance i would like to define stochastic process uh what is mean by a stochastic process we concentrate on various types of time series models that collectively concerned the general title of stochastic process uh, most physical process in the real world involve a random element in their structure and the stochastic process can be described as a statistical phenomenon that evolves in time according to probabilistic laws example include the length of the queue the number of accident in a particular town and successive months and year temperature at a particular site on successive days and the word stochastic which is a greek origin is used to mean pertaining to chance and many writers use random process as a synonym or stochastic process so okay uh, this means that a process which has some random phenomena that is called stochastic process and you can see in the real life and the real the real world problem you can see the course there is some chance with uh, almost each phenomena like temperature uh, uh, like um, uh, some production process and something like that so this statistical models that have a random error that is called um, you know random error or some something like that residual something like that so all those phenomena which have this term they are called stochastic processes and normally then you need a stochastic model to model those processes okay now stationarity uh, there are two types of stationarity uh, one is strong stationarity or you can say strict stationarity and the other is weak stationarity so let's define about these two uh, a strong form of stationarity is when the distribution of a time series is exactly the same through time this means that uh, i will explain this in the next slide in detail but this is just the definition uh, this means that if you have a, a process in two times i mean that with the leg values you can say and if have this those have the same distribution as with your legs their legs have the same distribution with their, uh, you know, the original values. Then you can say that's as strictly stationary. In other words, the distribution of original time series is exactly as leg time series, or even sub segment of the time series. Then that is called the distribution. Same mean that all the characteristic or the properties of the both time series are the same with the legs or the sub segment or whatever. Uh, weak stationarity a time series is considered as weakly stationary if the associated mean and covariance function do not vary with respect to time that is that is to say the original time series has statistical properties similar to those of the time shifted time series in this case normally we talk about covariance function uh, or auto covariance function and mean only the above case we say strictly that the distribution should be the same as uh, for both time series i mean time shifted and the original time series in this case we say okay the mean and variance uh this can be you know do not vary over time and now strictly stationary processes now this is a little detail a time series is said to be strictly stationary if the giant distribution of this these are the very the, the variable at time t1 t2 up to tk is the same as the joint distribution of this 
data sets that is x t1 t1 is the same plus but there is a shift up top some amount which is denoted by this symbol and x t k plus tau so there is you know a shift in the time with respect to this so data this process for all tau and tau 2 up to tau k and tau at uh, t1 t2 up to tk and tau in other words shifting the time origin by the amount tau has no effect on the joint distribution which must therefore depend only on the interval between these two so this means that this shift in time in this series has no effect on the joint distribution so this means that the joint distribution of the original series and time shift series should be the same for strictly strictly stationarity and now weakly stationarity what is mean by weakly stationarity uh, in weakly stationarity we are normally talking about mean and covariance function or auto covariance function in practice it is often useful to define stationarity as a less restricted way in a less restricted way than the described above i mean as compared to the strictly stationary normally we need to define this in little less restricted way a process is called second order stationary or weakly stationary this the other name is second order stationary second order stationarity mean weakly stationarity uh, if the mean is a constant and its auto covariance function depend only on the leg that is suppose the mean is constant it's not depend on time and the covariance function between xt and xt plus tau is the function of the leg this mean the time shift no requirement are placed on the moment higher than the second order so there is no requirement on the other uh, on the higher moments and remember that in the strictly stationary process we say this distribution should be the same so distribution should be the same in higher moments also the same uh, by letting tau equal to zero this means that if we put this equal to zero tau equal to zero this will become xt and xt so covariance between xt and xt will become variance of xt and there's of course not very good time uh, we know that the form of the stationarity auto correlation auto covariance function implies that the variance so that will become the variance as well as the mean is constant okay uh, the definition also implies that both the variance and the mean must be finite this week weaker definition of stationarity will generally be used now on and uh, and many of the property of stationary process depend only on the structure of the process specified by its first and second moments normally so we will normally using this in the real life applications okay no importance of stationarity this was something about the definition of stationarity the type of stationarity and now uh, uh, we need to talk about the importance of the stationarity what is why we need this stationarity you know for time series analysis uh, the first one is simplifies analysis stationary time series simplify the analysis of time series data statistical techniques such as auto regressive integrated moving average model that is simply called arima models assume that the time series is stationary if the time series is not stationary then it needs to be transformed into a stationary process before applying these techniques this transformation can be complex and time consuming so simplify the analysis mean that if some models require the stationarity of a time series you need just to apply these models simply to the data if the data is not stationary then maybe you need to transform the data and maybe the transformation is complex and time consuming so in that context this means simplifies the analysis accurate forecasting stationary time series are easier to forecast accurately than non stationary time series this is because the statistical properties of stationary time series are constant over time which makes it easier to predict in future uh, predict future values yeah this is true if the time series is not stationary then this means that uh, if the relationship does not exist in the future then maybe you will be unable to predict the future values i or stationary time series mean that the, that there is no trend or the, the statistical properties of i mean that mean and variance does not vary over time so you can predict 
the future values easily and accurately as compared to the non-stationary time series. A reliable statistical test. Statistical tests such as the T test and the F test assume the data as stationary. If the data is not stationary, then this this may produce unreliable results. Okay. Uh, if you know the assumption of T test and F test, they say that the data is independently distributed. Uh, uh, I mean that some 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 sort of IID. So this means that if you if you if you see that in stationary, we also say that the data is independent of each other, and uh, uh, this has a distribution with you know with the variance sigma square and normally distributed. The same thing. Almost the same thing we assume in T test and F test. So this is the welding is different stationary, but this is approximately the same thing we assume in the T test and F test. So if this test assume that the data is independently and identically independently distributed, independently drawn from the population with some specific variance, and if those assumptions are violated, this means that you will get unreliable results. Our uh, time invariant stationary time series have statistical properties that are time invariant. Okay, so we discussed this already, but this means that the properties of the stationary time series does not vary with time. Time invariant means does not vary with time, which means that they do not change over time. This makes it easier to compare different periods of a time and draw meaningful conclusion. Okay, this is a very good point. You can compare different parts of the time series to draw conclusion. Maybe you consider some baseline period, some future period, and you can make a comparison because it does not vary with time, and so you can uh, you can draw many from conclusion and inferences. Generalizability. Stationary time series allow us to draw generalizable conclusion about the underlying process that generates the data. That is because the statistical properties of time of a stationary time series are constant over time. And therefore they are likely to hold in the future yes because we already discussed that those properties of the, the time the properties of the stationary time series does not vary over time they are, those are time invariant therefore you can generalize into the future because it does not depend on the time a sporous regression sporous regression can be resulted in any case of non-stationary time series where we can have high high r square and significant parameter however this is not the reality okay uh, i will uh, uh, this mean that sporous regression mean that uh, apparently we can see a very good relationship between two time series data sets uh, which have in reality which really in reality have no relationship but you will see high r square and significant parameter in the regression equation and if you don't know the story behind the process are you don't know about the stationarity you would say okay this is very good model but in reality this is called sporous regression i will have a separate video on sporous regression what is mean by that and how we can avoid that okay and today uh, uh, with you we learn about what is mean by station what is mean by stochastic process what is mean by stationarity what are the type of stationarity and then the importance of stationary uh, if you like the content please subscribe the channel and see you with the next video ciao